So I'm going to demonstrate using Figma tokens plugin to create design tokens and then export um, a JSON of those design tokens to my GitHub repository. So I'm going to be pushing those uh, design token JSON, push it to GitHub, and then I'm going to pull it down from GitHub to use in my code. Um, so first, let me show you Figma. In Figma, we can go to Plugins, Figma Tokens. And in Figma Tokens, we have, um, you can add new tokens. You can view the JSON um, and export it as a file and to be downloaded. And then sync is where I set up my GitHub connection. So for GitHub, I created a personal access token on GitHub. And then I have to let Figma tokens know which repository, which branch, and the file path that I want to save the, uh, the tokens JSON file to. Um, and it's best practice to create a separate branch from your main branch where you're going to push the tokens to so that you can create a pull request and request make a request to merge your tokens with the code versus um, updating the main code base So in tokens, we're going to create a new color. So we can click the plus icon and using a sort of good format for tokens, I'm going to do something simple like color teal. And then for the value, actually I saved the value Or the value, I could put this hex value. So now the um, design token is created. I can use this design token within my Figma design. Um, and I believe clicking create styles, this will ensure that um, my design token is available in the styles. Um, I'm still kind of learning, learning this, but say we created a box and we want this box to be teal. So now we know that we're using a design token to make a teal box. Um, and over here, you can see the name of the design token is here, but instead of a a dot, it has a slash. Um, so then to get this uh, design token over to our developers, um, we can go, uh, well, I'm going to go to JSON and I'm going to update the token JSON. And then I'm going to go to sync. Um, or actually, over here, you have push to GitHub and pull from GitHub. So I'm gonna go push. And then for commit message, you wanna say what you're going to change. And um, so what, what I'm gonna change is the color, um, or actually I'm adding color. I click push. And then I can create a pull request on GitHub. So now I'm on GitHub. And here I could put a, a title for my pull request. 
And so usually you want to say what you're doing and why you're doing it. So I'm adding color teal. Um, this will be a new global color. For now, I'm just going to say that. I click click on create pull request. And so now we have a, uh, we can submit the request and then someone can merge to the request if they think it's a good uh, change to the code base. So I click um, confirm merge. And so now, um, if we go to the main code base, so we have two branches. We have the main branch and then tokens branch. And, um, and we just merged that change to the main branch. Um, so next, the, the token has now been pushed and merged to GitHub. So then I can go to, um, as a developer, I can go to my GitHub application, which is GitHub desktop. And then I can see if there's any new changes and then I can pull the changes down. I mean, I could even be on my main branch. And um, so on the main branch, you could see that there was a pull request um, and I wanted to add the color teal. So this is the design token JSON that the Figment tokens plugin creates, um, but I need this JSON to be in S CSS. So, um, so I have the newest code. And so if I go to my code here, um, you could see the design token JSON has been pulled down. Um, but then we need it to look like our style sheet, which uses SCSS. Um, so the way we do that is we use um, style dictionary. And style dictionary is a, a NPM package you could install in your app. And um, if you're the developer, you could install style dictionary using NPM. And uh, let's see here. And once it's installed, you can um, run the package using style dictionary build. So I ran style dictionary build. So now when I go to my SCSS file, I should see our new color teal. And then that style as a developer, I could, let's see our page here. This is the web page. Um, so maybe I want this purple button, button to be our new global teal color. I can go to the page code and actually created a button CSS file. So for the button, I have the color 
has this button color default. Not the best name, but so now we're going to make it teal. Ta-da! Now the button is the color teal, and not only is it the color teal, it uses the color teal um, value that is um, directly connected to our design token value, which is in Figma. So I'll just do one, another one quickly so you can see the whole process. So I can go to tokens and say, say someone decided that we don't want the teal to be teal anymore. We want it to be yellow or let's say red. Um, so we're changing teal to red. So we're changing the design token and with Figma tokens, we can update our design in Figma and it will update any element with this design token, it will update it. So um, you can apply it to the document, the whole document or just to this page. So now I think I can click on push to GitHub and say changing teal or Changing color teal to color red. Cool, I actually kept my commit message. Um, merge pull request. So I merged my uh, my branch changes to my main branch. So if I go to um, the GitHub desktop and do a fetch, I'll see that I have some changes to pull down. And here we have changing color teal to color red. And um, I'll just run the style dictionary. It runs pretty quickly. So now if I go to the variables, scss file, we have our new red and we do not have, I think we have like, we have a smooth teal color, which is a lighter teal, um, but the, the dark teal is no longer there, but there's this new red um, color. So when you do that, if you're going to change the design token name and not just the value, um, the developer is going to have to update their code. So the web page should be broken because there's no more teal. So like if you did not want to break the site, if it wasn't really important to change the design token name, you might want to keep this design token name and only change the value and then the value would be updated. But we changed the name, got rid of teal all completely. So we have to go to our CSSS and instead of color teal, it's color, color red. And now our button is red. So that's it. Oh, and the other thing is because um, with GitHub, with GitHub, we pull down the token JSON, and then we converted that token JSON using style dictionary. And style dictionary converted the JSON into an SCSS file. Um, so now we've we made a change to the code base, and so we have this CSS file that um, we have updated and we could either do a pull request or push directly up to GitHub um, 
to update these uh, CSS files. Which I'll say the color. And background color changed to red. Cool. So now, um, now anyone who wants to, anyone who pulls down this code from this GitHub repo will have the updated uh, CSS um, styles and their website. Everyone's website that uses this code will look like this. So that is that. That's the Figma tokens plugin and style dictionary uh, NPM package. So hopefully that helps someone I thought it was pretty amazing and fun. And um, I'm looking forward to learning more and playing around. So thanks for listening.